Mickey, can you just write in chat? Can you guys hear us? А почему я жил в видео и видео? Ага, ну короче, все работает. Синфия? Окей. Короче, я думаю начинать. Okay, friends. Даш, давай поближе ко мне, чтобы серую шторка была в полном диапазоне, я подвинусь. Так. Uh, so, friends. Hello? Hello. <laughs> It would be amazing if we could see you and we could switch on your cameras. And then it will be a better connection between us. Mm. Mm. Um, so, so my name is Daria. My name is Alosha, <laughs> and we are all part of the Radamir family. Radamir means happy for life, joy for life, joy uh, of life, joy of life. Um, so Dasha, maybe people would want to know. We're just gonna keep it live, whatever yeah, flows, sure. whatever flows. Sure. Maybe when people want to know, but are you guys? with some new dogma or some new spiritual teachings. There's so many new age uh, things out there. What is this? What, 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 are, what are you coming with Radamir? And is it new spiritual guru? What is it? Someone wants to join us. Yeah, actually, finally, we got something new. Mm -hmm. What everyone was looking for. Uh huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, I, I definitely found it. And that's mean the truth about you. Your truth. Yes. Who you are. That was for all of us, yeah? Yes, yes. <laughs> and that's why that was the research of all of our, of our lives. Life. Like, who we are. And why what? we are here exactly <laughs> <laughs> and we were trying from one teaching to another teaching going from one teacher to another teacher and asking always questions from from outside yeah like, yeah uh, always like relying on someone that someone will give us the truth about us right yeah exactly i went and to we, a... were fine. We, we found always yeah some some teacher some we always teacher. found some teacher some guru But when the guru wasn't there, the answers disappeared. Yeah. Because they came from outside. And now when you already have this conscious mind uh, that you create everything, mm -hmm. you understand that you was creating these teachers and gurus who was giving you answers. Yeah, right? so it's very important what Dasha says, Daria, because the belief, and as it says in the Bible, uh, each to their own beliefs, The belief is that we, with our feelings, beliefs, creating our reality. Creating our reality. How uh, better to say faith or belief? What do you think? Uh, What is the difference between belief and the faith? Uh, yeah. <laughs> two, two, two Russians are trying to discuss what... The... Maybe you will. Yeah, Mary, discuss. maybe you can give us the, a, a better word or, or Brady... Who, Uh, belief or uh, faith. or faith. What is the difference actually? Yeah. I would like to know because <laughs> we have like, uh, one meaning. Vera. 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 What you believe, you create. Uh huh. Brady, Mary, do you want to go tell us the difference between the faith and the belief? Yeah, you should open the mic for all of them so that they can also speak. Cynthia? 
Why can't I hear you guys? Okay. Are you trying to speak, Cynthia? At least that we know that you can hear. We should get some... Uh... Yeah. Answer from that uh, side of the world. <laughs> Maybe just write in the chat. Just ran into the room. Yeah, you can just write in. Uh huh. Okay. So the question to you guys: What is the difference between belief and faith? Uh, you can just switch on your microphone and video. Switch on your videos if you can. It would be really nice. And we know we're not the only ones in the room. Yeah. So the question for anyone new that joined is. What are we here talking about? Because, you know, is it some new dogma? Is it some new belief or faith? Is it some new guru that we're trying to propose to you? And it's actually none of it. What we're here for is to... To let you guys to reach let... your own truth about yourself. Exactly. To, which is time... within you. Yes, which is so empowering because it's not <laughs> that I'm going to give you the answers. I can't give you the answers. You, we want to assist you to open up your own dialogue with your own inner God <laughs> that is connected to the spirit of everything. Yeah. Duh. So in order for you to find the wishes of your soul, what your soul is wishing for, what is the true wish right now and uh, as in micro and macro, what you came to earth for, yeah? Mm -hmm. And to ultimately open up to your talents, that you open up to your own talents, your unique talents, that you can project uh, and share with our human fellow beings. I mean, it's as simple as that. Actually, uh, shortly we can say that you can find what is your main joy for life. Uh, joy for life. Uh -huh. Joy, um, наслаждение. How how we can say joy? All meanings of joy. Yeah. Like all kind, uh, all the sides of uh, uh, love. Love, like or maybe qualities, having fun. Of, all qualities, all qualities of, of love. Of love. Because uh, this is the main joy, actually, for our soul. And we'll we feel love. Exactly. And we'll talk about uh, All that. aspects of love. Yeah. Joy, radest in Russian, having fun. Happiness, joy. Th that's the one criteria. Um, there are many things that give us joy. Like, you know, I could, uh, <laughs> you know, I could smoke a joint and for the first five minutes I will feel joy. But then I will be all stupid and then I'll have like so the next day we are speaking about the joy that adds life. Joy which arises within you, which joy is not from external uh, source external such as a joint or ayahuasca or any of it. It's yeah. none of it. But joy that actually arises within yourself and that adds to life. Spiritually say that the spirit will be in your body enjoying it. No. enjoying itself in, enjoying itself in your body so it's not something like uh, to fly somewhere to the sky yeah it's exactly in this body to have that kind of joy which you never experienced before uh, maybe you can compare like uh, uh, five percent or i don't know how many percent but the same feeling uh, if someone had the first baby and it was long 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 time when you couldn't reach this wish yes yeah? yeah. and then finally you see this miracle in your hands like uh, uh, if you're a father or mother and you are just amazed from this miracle and you have such love which is just let you stay awake for a few days without feeling sleepy like yeah, you're just yeah. amazed You're like oh my god and that's all this feeling in your heart like and that's uh similar to that uh, drug uh, experience without having some external source like drugs or yeah uh, alcohol or uh, sex or uh, all kinds of joy which we know which is uh, and, relating to something. and i'd like to brady do you want to say something your microphone is on okay i guess not so 
Okay, then the question to you. Hare Krishnas, they sing Hare Hare Krishna, and they also feel joy. Yeah, also what joy. is the difference between what we're talking about and Hare Krishnas? Yeah. Actually, it's also all of this religions, teaching, uh, all of them. It's like, if you say, it's all God. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's all it's all about the same, actually. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But we are speaking about... Um, the source which is within you and that you can connect to this anytime mm -hmm. and you take responsibility for this joy mm -hmm. and you are always connected to this mm -hmm. and that's um, without any like uh, particular religion that you are like giving your energy to this always no you are creator you are becoming creator yourself yeah, and you take responsibility, and you start to observe that everything uh, you was always created, that everything what you see around it's your wishes. Okay, it's very important what Dasha just said. Everything that you see around, Harry, you can switch on your camera if you want. Welcome. Uh, so, yeah, I'm just a little talk to you. Yeah, that everything what you have now, is your right now, is your... is your wishes. And you are the one who created all of this. Okay, what so... you see around. Like, for example, now, look around. And just, even if you don't believe in this, just imagine that everything what you see, it's all your wishes, which become true. Yeah. So this is very important because before I kept on pointing fingers, Trump, Putin and, um, you know, uh, objective reality out there. And now the, the belief, the knowing uh, of this work that we're talking about is there's no objective reality. Uh, there is no Trump or Putin that changes our reality. Uh, but we, with our wish, with our feelings, very important, not even our thoughts, our feelings and our beliefs, our lenses that can get cleaned up. Like filter, yes. Like filters. Like our lenses. Instagram, when you put the filter, this is the same. Okay, so with, but... our, with our beliefs and feelings, we create our reality. So somebody in... Uh, Russia right now or America is going through absolute hell and somebody yes. is having the most magnificent time whilst having $20 to their name and they're having the most magnificent time. Two people in the same country, in the same uh, hotel uh, for first time can see this completely different and you will ask, so what, what can you say about this country when you travel there? And the one, the one can say completely different reality. So it will be completely different visions. And they will go through different experience. Yes, they'll go so through different that, experiences. That's, yes, that's because we have some different form in our mind, how we watch through, like the filters. Yes, like, exactly and these filters not just watch, but also create, yes, create yes, a reality. Because... Uh, an easy example would be when you walk next to a dog and you're scared, it bites. And I'm sure many people have had that when they were scared of the dog, it either snaps on their foot or something. But when you walk and you feel so solid and you're like, hey, yes, so the dog yes, starts wiggling it's... its tail. And can you imagine that we don't know all our fears? For example, yeah, the biggest fears we can name it. Like, okay, fear from the height or from dogs or from... Or, fe uh, or fear of not having money, yes. be being but broke. We have also some very deep, deep, deep fears, which we got with the blood, with our DNA. And uh, uh, so that's all creating our uh, reality by vibration so it's easy if you have a fear that's mean like you have a wish to go through this experience and you uh -huh. will get de definitely you will get this okay so that's very important what you said so your fear is your wish Correct. guys you get that your fear the <laughs> is the same as your wish why 
because uh, uh, on the deeper level, this is like a wish to go through this experience. In order to buy, to so yeah. come the fear, so yeah. you don't fear it yeah. anymore. Okay, so a, a, a victim will keep on finding a tyrant will keep on hammering her or him down. I so eventually he can just say, I fucking had enough of yes. being a victim. I want to stand strong. And, you know, you push back on the tyrant yes. and the tyrant disappears forever. Yes, yes. But uh, there, there, it can be different, actually, uh, wishes behind this. It's always unique. Can't say that for everyone it will be the same uh, wish to go through this experience. You know, for someone to get power, for someone to get freedom, mm. for someone to get some answers. So it's always unique for everyone. That's why we are here to say that uh, we have a technology, how to open this dialogue within you, with your goddess nature, with the God within you, mm -hmm. and to become a God, actually. Yeah, 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 yeah. So the, uh, we will be... Uh during future zooms slowly opening or so slowly or fast <laughs> far, uh, you know with speed but in in steps will be opening up this dialogue uh with your own god now i'd like to touch on a little bit and i know for some of you you, you might get scared but why why we use christ okay why did we, you know, because people feel like, yeah, but you guys are just another religion, you're pushing Christ down the throat. And and trust me, when somebody told me about Jesus Christ uh, 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 a few months back, I'd tell them to F off because I wasn't interested. I'll say a little bit for myself. The Jesus Christ was used as a point of agreement that it's in all the religions and many, many, many people already believe in him. And it was designed as an operating system that we can Im insert into our subconsciousness uh, in order to get the super skills. Yeah, but I would say it's easier, actually. I would start from belief, yeah, like you said, or faith, mm -hmm. so that uh, we have a chance to choose what to believe, because if we believe that our believing creating all of this, so we have a choice mm -hmm. what mm -hmm. to believe, okay? Mm -hmm. So, and whatever you will choose, it will work for you. So if you say that I don't believe in God, you will have reality where you will not have any God, yeah? You guys get that. So if, <laughs> if you choose not to believe in God, then like I was for 42 and a half years, I have said, I'm God, I, there is no other God I'm with the universe and uh, the source. And, you know, I wasn't giving it any specific name, but I was really, there is, I was an atheist. You know, I knew there was something out there, but I couldn't quite pinpoint. There were mushrooms, there was ayahuasca, there was this and that and the other. But I came to a dead end. And after 42 and a half years, I hit a rock bottom, second divorce, pro bad relationship in the past with my son which still i don't know where but i don't want to create it in the future as or present as a bad relationship i'm saying it in the past just a financial rock bottom which just hit a dead end full dead end where i was put a rope on my neck even and i tried to tug it for the second time in my life and i couldn't let my life go so i asked these words came out we have in russian gospody pomagi God, God help me just it just came out naturally it was like an automatic this is the nature of human just to wish that there is a God <laughs> yes. that they can ask exactly <laughs> in all this uh, situation when you are helpless yes. you want yeah. to believe that... that there is a God who will help you so exactly you... and actually you are creating God did so, you guys hear so that? that I, you help yourself. <laughs> I created God to help myself out of shit. This is very, very important what it's we're telling you. It's amazing that you said it just came out. Ah, you, it came out of you. No, no it came out of me. Yes. Of you, that it just came out of 42 and a half years, I wasn't believing in God. And when I hit absolute <laughs> shithole that I couldn't climb out and my God helped me. 
and boom at that moment i created god yeah can you imagine now you know when you created god <laughs> yeah and from that moment on my life started to change and i met this beautiful family it's 11 of us 13 of us are staying in this house it's actually 12 plus one always it's always 12 plus one yeah it's, it's always so people can change they can go and some other people can oh because right now it's 12 it's so, plus one it's so interesting 12 plus one it's 13 of us here yeah oh it's all it's always like this 13 <laughs> <laughs> that's interesting uh so so, okay, so okay so it's just it just imagine if uh, if you know quantum physics yeah so it's already researches showing uh, that nothing exists if there is no nobody observed it mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay so just imagine if nobody observed there is n nothing okay? mm -hmm, mm -hmm. then for example you just realize that some something start to observe so within you mm -hmm. you just start to observe yourself as an observer okay mm -hmm, mm -hmm, can you just mm -hmm, do it yeah. yeah so and then you can create all of this by your belief you just choose this just to try yourself as a creator mm -hmm. nothing mm -hmm. and then you start to have a wish to have something but you mm -hmm. don't know what okay mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and you choose to believe that you can create by word aha and you just believe that your word, like in Bible saying, yeah, before there, there was there was, was word. word. Without word was would be nothing, right? Yeah. So you choose to believe that your word is a powerful and it's giving you life. Yes. Life giving word. Okay, very, very important. I believe mm -hmm. that my word is life giving. Yes. Yes, yes. And I can create everything by word. Yes. A quick example. Dasha, thank you. A quick example of that. End of August, there was a Vastu architecture training live. And I wanted to go to it. Um, I had $10 to my name. And I really wanted to go for it. So I said... I state my will, I state my will that I will be going to this faster training live in another town. And I set out a figure, which I quickly calculated. I'll need $2,000. And uh, true Bob, within a day, I had $300 pull in and I had five more sales of $300 to my you know, at that time, this was an online course that I'm running now. But you'd think that, no, but Alosha, you need an online course for that. You you made a, a, a money-making machine. Of course, you'd have money. Here's another example, uh, if we talk about money. Um, four months ago, uh, after the divorce, I went to, I was traveling south. Uh, I had my whole car packed and... Um, and then I reached this home, or my own home, and um, I didn't want to stay in it. I just came there to divorce with my wife really fast, with Zoya, which you all know from our YouTube videos. So, um, because we're all in our passports assigned to that home in that area. Anyway, I arrived there, so I was supposed to be there for two, three days, and I'm traveling south, and boom, money no more comes. And I was stuck there. And then again, I knew that there is no objective reality, that first we create good feelings. First we create love, good energy, good feelings here in the heart area. So free of anxiety, free of panic attacks, free of shaking legs, all that other stuff, free of fear. Um, so first, feelings, good feelings, and then the reality starts to bend according to your feelings. And what happened was um, I, start, I didn't even have internet. I mean, I have an online business. I didn't even have internet in that uh, village. I just had like, two prayers. I had cold water from a well, and I could do walks. So I started pouring myself with cold water, 
I started praying and I started walking. <laughs> and true hold within one day, I had a donation of a thousand dollars without selling any courses, without selling anything. I just raised my energy, my vibration levels. I opened up my shoulders. I said, I, I, I also another thing, I agreed. I agreed, Saglacia, Saglacia, that this is my reality. And, and that I stopped fighting it. Fighting it in the old way would be, no, 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 I'm rich. Money is coming, money is coming, money is coming. But here I've got a burning sensation and I'm feeling like shit. I've got all the fears, but I'm saying all these affirmations and I'm just, not, it's not working. Or it's working very short-lived, but then there is a setback. Here, I agree that this is my reality, that I am I can be staying in this home. Nobody's kicking me out because it's my own home. Yeah, it's, I don't want to stay here. But I agree that this is the reality. I have no cash to go south. I agreed with it. And as soon as I agreed with it, I started praying, raising my vibration. 24 hours later, I had a donation of $1,000. So what we're talking about is magic. We're but time. But we have lunch, sir. Sorry? Shola? Oh, hello. Uh, excuse me. I didn't know I was on. If, if anybody wants to add anything, do you want to... It's wanna... about magic. Please. It's about magic. Yeah. Sorry, I couldn't hear you. Now I muted you. Hello? It's completely different than uh, people can imagine uh, about magic, yeah? Yeah, it's very it's different. It's different uh, imagination. Okay, yeah. so why is it different to magic? Yeah, there is a magic uh, mind. Mm-hmm. Uh, when you let me just have it because we choose to believe in God, we choose that there is something that God does, um, God does conscious, yeah, mm -hmm. which is the wisdom, God does wisdom, God is wisdom, right? yeah. So we are not creating something from our ego. Uh -huh. We want to open this God, this nature in us. Uh -huh. And this is the God, this wisdom, which will never hurt someone. Which will it's never that. hurt someone. Yeah. yeah. Which will be the, the, the most wisdom from, from all wisdom. You understand? Yeah. But, and magic, which we know magic, when people try to reach something, to make to rituals. Uh, rituals. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. Coming from ego. Why? From the ego with the mind when we just trying just to do something. So there's no God there in the magic. Yeah, there is no goddess wisdom. There is no goddess wisdom in the magic. So is anybody wants to ask anything or say something with what we just mentioned, or you want to add something? Okay, there's a question from Deborah. What's it, what does it mean to have a relationship with God? Что означает быть в отношении с Богом? To become a god yourself. Okay, Deborah, to become a god yourself, or in your case, a goddess. Goddess, yes. Yeah. So let's come back to our belief and how we create re reality. Okay? Mm -hmm. So if we start just from zero, yeah, mm -hmm. with the word, we start to create our reality. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So. By uh, believing that our word is alive, yes, that it has that life power. Giving. Yes, life giving. So whatever I will name, I will give life to this. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Yes. So and if before in the in the past life, mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean the life before. Before, yeah. Yes, before I realized that I'm a creator, and before I took responsibility for everything what I create in my life. I felt myself a victim, right? W w victim, victim, so victim. Example, uh, I victim of Trump, victim of, of Putin, of everything. Climate, even of climate. Like, oh yeah, yeah. The I climate change. If tomorrow will be rain, then I can have a picnic, for example. Yes. Or if there'll be COVID, I was checking yes. which airports are closed. Yes. And but this is the truth about uh, objective reality. So I believe before that objective reality rules me and my world around me but what we believe now is that there is no objective reality 
that I'm going to tell you something that's going to mess, that's going to uh, really uh, shatter you, but um, not shatter you, but in a good way. There is a possibility that in one city at the same time, somebody will be having rain falling on them and somebody will have sunny weather. I arrived, it was on the forecast, rain, 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 full rain. I arrive as soon as I arrive and I'm in a good state. The sun is shining, but everything is wet. You know, and or somebody else would say, ah, November was a rainy month. And I was like, but it was dry as everything. I didn't feel one rain. This is really mind boggling. The movie, which Americans are very good at, it was a series that was released uh, in this year called Dark Matter, Chomna Materia, where they go into a box. And I had a like an epiphany moment where just before they opened the door, they realized that, look, what you feel and what you think about before you open the door is what you'll get when you open the door. I highly recommend that everybody in this call today and who watches this call watch the Dark Matter series. It's in by Apple Originals. Now, and I think there's nine of them, but I'm on the fifth one and I already had an epiphany there. It's exactly what we're trying to explain. So there is a reality where, let's say, Air Creed Harry <laughs> has already got all his domes built and his hyperbolic structure finished, plastered, and his whole garden is full of permaculture, heaven, and food forest. And there is a reality where he's on the way of doing it. And there is a reality where he's struggling with his pump and hoses that get stuck with concrete. All those realities are existing simultaneously right now. So if Harry raises his vibrations to a specific level, he'll jump, he'll quantum jump to that reality, which all his domes and all his structures are already completed and permaculture forest is planted. In the back, in sometimes in the history, although we don't believe no longer is in history and future, but backdated, that's the word, backdated, it has already been created. Somebody else arrived and already did it for Harry or, or Harry bought a, a, a garden that's already full of permaculture and it just was an easy ride and everything was created. Exactly. So love is the uh, most pleasure what all of us looking for. Can you explain the word love? Because people have different perceptions. Some, I had a perception that it's then it's love that love is everything <laughs> what makes you feel more life in you, more joy, more happiness. Mm. And that's actually the truth. So when you are clear, all your undermine from all the programs which you were thinking that you are this fear, that you are this guiltiness, that you are all of this. Uh, uh, and they drain our emotions. energy and they drain our energy. We so you... are killing you. Yes. So all of this making you far from love. Yes. Because the only truth is the love. Because love is giving life for everything. So there's two indicators. There's only one indicator in anything you do. You either feel like you are uplifted with energy yeah. After a conversation, after you've done something, after you finished a task, after you went to job, you either feel uplifted. Like alive. Like alive. 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 It's not something which you imagine that always butterflies. In, in yeah, body. but you feel alive. You're like, okay, that was difficult, but I feel good. Is like, it make me feel more uh, alive or no? So okay. this is the main indicator. <laughs> <laughs> you see, nice. This is the answer directly from reality. Yeah, yeah. Lena, this Lena's the, uh, thing the, says, you are such a darling. You are such an awesome person. That was what just came up in the microphone. She from was another. saying in Russian. Yeah, she yeah. was saying in Russian. So, so the, this is the truth. And all what we think we are, all of this negative, uh, which is drawing our energy. Mm, mm. This is just the programs which you was thinking that you are this. 
But okay. then when you start to observe them, you start to have a power to see them that this is the part which is not you. Yes. And you start with your power of creator, clear your mind, your uh, all, all of your structure from all of this program. And then this love and joy will be naturally you. So this so is the only truth. So Dasha, am, am I correct in saying that we're talking about uh, a, live, a, a dialogue with God within? That this live dialogue, in, in order to help you to clean, to clean your mind. Uh, and here we have Maxim Gachenka that just opened. You guys, you can switch on your videos. Uh, please do. Uh, it'll be great. So we know we're not the only ones here. Maxim. Uh, Oh, there we go. Welcome. Welcome. Nice to see you, Maxim. Hi, guys. <laughs> yeah, so, Maxim, we were just talking about love and we were talking about it inner dialogue. warming up before Maxim came yeah. to the stage. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. So, we were talking about love and we were talking about inner dialogue and one criteria. Whatever you do, it either uplifts you and gives you life or... It kills you and you feel down, you feel worse. So, and the question I had for Dasha is um, that in, inner dialogue is not possible if you keep on doing things that are, that are making you die. Is it true? Like, внутренний диалог невозможен, если ты продолжаешь делать то, что убивает тебя. Или наоборот, он поможет нам. Uh, we will come back to our belief and faith. And Maxim maybe could answer us this question. What is the difference between belief and faith? <sighs> yeah, That's what, how we started today conversation. Yeah, what is yeah. the difference between belief and faith? <sighs> okay, and uh, what's... Uh, the context uh, so why do you uh, ask this question uh, can you uh, can you describe yeah, we just try to um uh... each to their in the bible it says each to their belief everything starts from your belief. belief and we believe that our words have power and they are life-giving and we believe that there is God that can take us out of any dark situation. Okay. Uh, first of all, hello, everybody. My name is Maxim. And uh, we're the... Uh, Alyosha and Dasha are my brothers and sisters. So uh, we have uh, a community here. Um, in our global project called russia the paradise and now we, we make the um, uh, a congress of the saints yes on the first november so um i would like to give you another point of observation maybe from the physics point of view uh If, if we look from the um, quantum mechanics point of view, so we have the field of uh, omnipresence of God and uh, lots of variants of any possibilities. So anything is possible. But uh, what do we need to make miracles happen or anything we want to happen? We need to have wide consciousness, empty, to take one shape. It should correspond with the source. And uh, to believe, it means I have one option and I, and I do not agree to anything less. That means belief so uh, such power which allows me to uh, pursue this one option in my consciousness to observe it 
uh, and to follow through the Im impulses of life, actions. It means belief. It means uh, it gives me the power to go into the unknown. And thus the a quantum mechanic works. Uh, so this is the power uh, which makes uh, miracles possible. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know if I made it any easier for you. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> With this explanation. Yeah, Interesting, just uh, and yeah. the view about the same. Yeah. Yes, yeah, because perfect. you know, in in languages, it's uh, so easy to get lost. We have trust, belief, faith. In Sanskrit, we have many gradations of faith. In Russian, we have other words. Yeah, uh, maybe I will guide you. Just uh, what we were already. Is um speaking mm -hmm. before mm -hmm. yeah just uh to open it more like um we choose to believe that the reason of everything within you mm -hmm. thanks brady yeah so this is the next point but uh, what if you like maxim you can open this so it will be like a next step but the m subject of this talk is an inner dialogue yeah and why we need it and why we need it with yourself, that's the subject uh, that uh, the 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 um, in order to find the desires of your soul, the wishes of your soul, what your soul wants to do, and to take responsibility for your reality as a creator. Yes, yes. and uh, also we wanted to open up why uh, our knowledges are different than other uh, teachings and religion why what we give now it's uh, a treasure yeah because dasha says that it's all about love and good feelings and i tell her but Hare krishnas are also about love and good feelings what's the difference between yeah. Hare krishna and uh, what we're talking about yeah. so that would be good to Just clarify to i know there's quite a few things so there's the inner dialogue which is most important because you can get all answers from inside yourself there is the difference between uh, a religion and what we're talking about um and there is, of course, the prayer uh, that switch, switches you on as God, which Maxim is really good with doing this prayer. So maybe later, if you can, Maxim, you can, we can do a prayer together. Maybe we can do it even now to just, just, call, just to switch off our minds and to get into the truth because it's all like, I know Americans and us, we sometimes a lot of in the mind. But we want to get into the feelings because this work is all about feelings. I hand over to you. Thanks. You know, I think I would like to talk about uh, the advantages of inner dialogue and why do we need it? Because it's so interesting. We live in such a weird time uh, because um, from one side, I'm, I'm very happy that finally we as a humanity can talk about this from other side i think uh how how lost is this world th th this world and and our minds that we need to talk about advantages and uh, to talk about why do we need inner dialogue because it's such a common thing that should be um accepted as unconditional so first of all this gives you power of guidance mm -hmm. without inner dialogue you cannot be centered mm -hmm. you know it in language there is a word called source yes everybody knows source if if we take it um, um the origin of this word sur from sanskrit means sun surya means sun the same word is in russia it means in russian Surya, it means the source of light. So English word source, and actually Russian and Sanskrit word Sur, it means light. And also the name of uh, beings who have light body, they also called Surs. And one of names of Russian, 
of, of Russian, um, it's not people, but Russian type of consciousness is Suras or Tsurias, the one who have the body of light, the golden body. So I just tell this because this is the point of unity. So talking about source, what do we need it for? This is the presence of God, uh, like the embassy of God inside us. Also, in, in Sanskrit, it's called uh, Jiva Atma. Atma means soul, like atomic energy. This is um, omnipresent and um, undisposable, uh, ever living source of energy inside you. It gives you energy, uh, it gives you guidance, it means it connects you with the super consciousness which knows everything about future, past and in the present. So uh, when you decide to center yourself and you just say, okay, I mm, take myself away from all the outer um, belongings or outside guidance, okay. Uh, I center my responsibility. I call back my willpower my responsibility and I want to center myself into the source everything starts with your desire when you do so you can feel it so uh, this gives you guidance you have uh, a 24 7 inner coaching uh, you have source of energy you, you have um, an ability to hear your desires and to know how to fulfill them and and thus further on you can um, navigate yourself in the world you don't need any outside navigation or google or guidance or experts or gurus or coaches this is the very first basic things that works in our community. The first skill that we help to obtain is to get back this inner dialogue. Because we want a cooperation of um, free people. Um, in English, will. In Russian, we have word voля the same word willpower we have the word called voila free will and we can cooperate only if the person is liberated from outside guidance so this is the basis of everything so maybe we should do a little prayer just so we can start this uh, process of people connecting with their God within. If you feel, um, if you feel at all, you, you can explain more if you want, but uh, I think this prayer is really powerful. It connects. Maybe it's also important because in the prayer, we connect to Christ consciousness. Maxim, do you want to just explain? And I know we did it last time, but we have some new people today. Why do we need, wh why Jesus Christ, exactly Jesus Christ, why not Buddha, why not, and, 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 and what is it? It, it? Because it's not a religious thing. It's not a religious. I, I wouldn't go down into this for religion. And Jesus Christ for me meant religion in the past. Um, I tried to explain earlier, but I think it, maybe you want to touch onto this because Jesus Christ is present in the prayer. So people don't feel resistance because I would, uh, to this word. Maybe we can just explain why that name, that two words were chosen. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. My mind doesn't 
turned on in English today. So, guys, apologize. I <laughs> uh, today uh, I just uh, I'm not so good in English. I don't know why. Uh, I still I think in Russian. Uh, so, uh, Jesus Christ. This is not just a personality. Um, now, in our group, we took responsibility of the global project, a planet-wise and um, galaxy-wise, believe me or not. So, um, we need a point of unity. We need a space, an operational system where we can agree on some name that we cannot trust, thus we can connect and understand each other. So, Jesus Christ, uh, I will explain from the um, IT point of view. Uh, it's like a living operational system, like Android or Windows. So, Jesus Christ, it's not just a personality, the Son of God. Uh, this is like a consciousness, the playground, the open source living operational system. Uh, so it allows us to resurrect ourselves, to uplift ourselves, to automate many um, operations of, of our consciousness. And it makes possible even to the person who doesn't know how does his uh, conscious works, he can come in as a um, beginner and uh, get an opportunities to um, open his powers and talents. And uh, also this uh, operational system, Jesus Christ, of Christ, it allows us to create. It's like an open source. We can download our results, um, our experiences to enrich it every day. Uh, so this operational system it has been accepted on the There's been a council and meeting of the planetary leaders who take responsibility on the level of the galaxy. So Jesus Christ, this name, it was agreed as the one which gives um, uh, the most opportunities for a lot of people to agree on. I don't know if I if if I could yeah verify it. So, so yeah. any name could have been chosen. It could have been Buddha. It could have been Krishna. It could have been any other name. But the wording Jesus Christ was chosen because it's already in Islam. It's already in Catholic religion. It's already in Orthodox religion. In the Jewish, it's 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 a point of agreement that people agree that or even the, believe that there might have been a guy like that, you know, and they have fed him, many, many people have fed that uh, as the ultimate human with ultimate superpowers, ultimate humility, um, that people just agree that, okay, that guy existed or there might have existed, he might have existed, but it's a point of agreement. I'll just want to add to that. Yes, so, uh, you know, it's like um, electing the president. One of the most imp important factors uh, is many people know him and trust him. And then the rest. So, Jesus Christ, it was such a name that many people know him and can trust him. So, this name, it, it was chosen and then it was changed. It was modernized. The software behind Jesus Christ, what does it mean? It means if you today 
with this name, you connect with this software, you receive many opportunities. You connect it to the server. So uh, why do you need it? You don't need anyone to connect to your source. Nothing. You can do it right now with your willpower. But uh, experience shows that most of people don't know what to do with it. Because it needs uh, some uh, skills. How to keep yourself as a whole. How to listen to your desires. What to do with the desires which you don't like. What to do with your thoughts. What to do... Um, how to fill yourself with the energy. What, so, to do with, what to do with your trauma that you've been trying to process with a psychologist for 10 years, but it still keeps on coming up. Mm -hmm. Check out the essence gospel of the peace, which were removed from the Bible that contained the teaching of Jesus. Yeah. Thank you. I will do. So, uh, when you call the name of Jesus, you just connect to this server. All you need to do is uh, to believe that now Jesus, it's not about church. It's not about a guy on the cross who is crucified. Uh, you just have to go deeper and believe that now this Jesus Christ, this is the living God. Operational system, consciousness. Why do you connect? Christ to... consciousness. Can we call it Christ yes. consciousness? Yes. Probably better words than, than... Okay. Yeah. Christ consciousness. And why do you need it? Because uh, now this is one of the best ways to learn how to be God yourself. To be God means uh, to take complete and full responsibility for your life, for your desires, for your thoughts for expressing your willpower. That's it. If you know how to do that without Jesus Christ, please do that. But ex my experience shows I only have seen maybe a handful of people who op operate their consciousness so well. Most of people need that on this stage. And, and uh, also other reason, um, if we want to connect billions of people Jesus Christ consciousness, um, it meets the criteria. It helps. It stops the resistance. That's why we talk about that. Yes. Not because we want to preach Jesus Christ, though he is worse of being preached. Yes. But because uh, we see many advantages, uh, how can this help a person? to d discover his power and his love. That's it. From my side, what I can definitely say, uh, since I've started doing this, uh, I met Radamir, which is part of our family. And I've stopped having negative depressive thoughts, self-hating thoughts, which been hammering in my head for 25, 30 years. They stopped. Fear of money is gone. I sometimes can have a dollar to my name and I don't stress about it because more money comes in or somebody gives me a place to live like now and just all fears of money and also loneliness are gone. I'm no longer was scared to be alone. Um, even whilst I was alone with this prayer, because I always have God within myself. So the fear, the fears have gone. It's so cool because our world is a lot with fears and they still come up. I am not claiming myself as perfect, but mostly uh, the big chunk of my fears are gone. It, it comes up a little bit, but then I work through it and it disappears again with the help of Christ. I ask Christ, uh, Christ healed this fear in me. What do I need to realize about this fear? And I choose, I choose to believe in perfection of everything that happens around me. 
And that one phrase is a key uh, tool that we use in our family. I choose to believe in the perfection of everything that happens with me and around me. Even if in this moment I don't see this perfection, but we'll speak about it in the future, uh, about this part. Maxim, handing over to you. Okay, what do you feel? Uh, guys, are you interested in uh, making a kind of um, a connecting with the consciousness of Christ? Does it resonate with you? Harry, you want to go? Just to feel it. Yeah, for me, absolutely. It, uh, it resonates with me. Yeah. Anybody else who wants to experience what we're talking about? Speak up. Switch on your microphone. Switch on your video cameras. Yes. Mary says yes. I wouldn't expect anything else from Mary. <laughs> <laughs> of course. <laughs> How can Mary say no? <laughs> it's a Christ. It's great. <laughs> okay, awesome. Sean also says yes. I guess, I, I, I guess we go for it. You know, uh, it will be really simple because it shouldn't be overcomplicated. You know, its simplicity is... Uh, uh, <laughs> the best way to do it so to make it happen just you need a few things first a true desire actually do you know the uh, etymology of word desire yes de sire sire means god yes so desire actually that is something you feel the, the feelings of God inside you the true desire first a second uh, you need to believe at least a little bit and and to appreciate it to be grateful that's uh, all the conditions you need for this software to be installed and also um, let me tell it's it's not like we connect you to somebody no that's you do with your own will we're not the middleman here yes and we don't want this role but we want to share this opportunity with you because we, we think it's a great one because we want to be on the same page. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I... I Ты помнишь, как, как причастие по-английски? Я забыл, у меня всегда было... Communion? Hey, Harry, it's a communion in the church? Yeah. A, a communion, yes? Communion, yeah. Okay, so we call it the self-communion. <laughs> when a, a person applies, does... A self communion. Okay. Okay, so Jesus the Christ plays intention into the heart. Please connect me to your consciousness. Help me in my self communion with you. Please accept me as your student, as your child, as your friend, and as your lover. Please guide me to the source of life and my true inner self. I connect with you and I trust you because I know you're such a God who came to help me become God. To help me to grow up and become and take full responsibility of my life. So I can play 
my big game of love with the God. I know you want me to become free. Uh, please accept me. Please connect me to your consciousness right now. Uh, please install the inner dialogue with you. Please tune in my body, my soul, my heart, my feelings, with my mind, and my personality, my body. Just install this inner dialogue in the best possible way for me. And thank you, I'm grateful to you because it has already happened. Amen. And now just release control, let your breathing just happen, go down into the heart and just feel the presence of Christ. Go down into the heart, it's not about thinking. It's about feeling. It's not about emotions. It's about feeling. Feeling is what connects you with the source. It's like a strings and it multiplies life inside you. It doesn't exhaust you like emotions, but it guides you inside. So, listen to the feelings, because this is the voice of your soul. And feel the presence of Christ. If you don't feel, just ask. Jesus Christ, please raise my web vibrations to the level where my body can be tuned in when I can hear you. Please center my body, all my consciousness, make it as a whole, make me a holy person in the source of life. Open my heart, get back my soul, help me. To be aware, to release myself from all the obligations. To return the parts of my soul. I want to be a holy one. I want to be a whole. Please gather me and fill me with love. And please lift me to such level of reality which resonates with my true nature. Show me how my body, how my consciousness can be operated. And most of all, how can I, how I can feel myself. I want to feel love. Now, you can ask anything you want to feel. 
gratitude, the truth, the presence of God, simplicity. Just feel it. And also, I'm calling for the Holy Spirit, for everybody who is ready to accept it. So now just exhale. And when you inhale, just tell it to yourself, I inhale the Holy Spirit. And feel it. And now, in our group, I witness the Holy Spirit. I feel it. You can feel the light and... Как от свежесть по-английски? Freshness. Freshness. Yeah, freshness. It can be felt like a kind of breathe, such a cool wind inside your, your body and go deeper into your heart and just um, trust it let it guide you just feel the being feel the peace and power I call for the spirit of power love and truth I propose let's feel it for a few minutes. Я есть, я есим, а с есим мы есим одно. I just said some formula in Russian, which means I am, and we are one. Because I want to to feel our group as a whole. I want to feel you with your soul because we're one. And the spirit, it's omnipresent. This is the conscious of God. The true holiness, it means to be the whole, the true responsibility, which allows us to hear the desires of the whole organism. And it gives happiness, power, peace, joy. And unconditional love. And when we feel as one, no wars, no war, no war can happen because our mind is no longer separated. We don't need enemies because we are friends to one another and we are friends to ourselves and now 
you can ask in the inner dialog whatever you want and a few options you can ask Jesus Christ if you like or you can ask the Holy Spirit directly this is the more uh, the high level of operation but uh, it, it depends on you so whatever you're worried about just ask it now in the direct in the direct dialogue but ask um, calling the name first for example Jesus Christ help me to understand or the Holy Spirit help me to understand What should I realize about this? What should I know about this? Help me to understand my desires. Help me to realize what this situation in my life is about. What should I understand about these situations? So, don't ask just to resolve. For example, if a person has some sickness, or for example, headache, you don't ask just um, release my headache or cure my headache, but you sh should ask, help me to realize the desires which created this headache. Why did I create this headache? What should I realize about this headache? Because I accept the full responsibility of my life. So, this is the formula. From the responsible point of view, accepting that we are creators of our life and everything what happens in our life comes from our desires. And you ask the higher consciousness to clarify it and then you ask what to do with it. so let's for one more minute just to enjoy the moment and um, you, you have time to ask whatever you want. Я есть, я есим, аз есим, мы есим одно, мы есим любовь. Отче наш, Сущий на небесах, и теперь и на земле. Да светится имя Твое, да приедет Царствие Твое, да будет воля Твоя на земле и на небе. Хлеб наш насущный, даешь нам на каждый день, благодарим Тебя за любовь Твою. Остави нам долги наши, которые мы по разумению своему себе создаем. Научи жить единым сейчас. И научи отпустить искусителей, и жить не из сопротивления и войны и разделенности, а от радости к радости, выбирая силу, истину, любовь, умножение жизни, радость, счастье, простоту, критерии моей истинной природы. Прошу тебя, даруй мне такое сознание, ибо твои царствия, сила, слава, любовь, крепость, благословение, Отца и Сына и Святого Духа, ныне и присны во веки веков. Да будет так и уже свершилось. Аминь. Прошу тебя, перечисти все англоязычное сознание и помоги нам стать братьями во Христе. Аминь.
Guys, what do you feel? I I feel lightness. I feel I was yawning a lot and I feel lightness and I feel strength. Um yeah, I feel I feel strength inside like knowingness that we are becoming one and we're becoming stronger together. And the Russian prayer that Maxim did is was uh, Father hello the, thy name. It's the Christian prayer but it's got a slight tweak and at the end he said that we all connected as one the anglo speaking world and us are becoming one that's what he stated just to translate that prayer anybody else wants to say how they feel harry maybe somebody has uh, answers in the inner dialogue and you want to share that it works, maybe it doesn't work for someone. Yeah, guys, switch on your microphones, cameras, and just speak up. Well, for me, the most important, I feel the unity and brotherhood mm. and sisterhood. <laughs> yeah. Um... I think one of the biggest points I got from listening today is um, that Jesus Christ, the word is the programming. Um, I think that's really important. It's something I never thought about until you guys mentioned it. And I think it's a key importance um, because for a long time I was telling people um who don't believe in, you know, Jesus Christ or Muhammad or, you know, any of the traditional religions, I'd say just pray to the universe. As, as long as you're praying, that's, what's, that's what matters. As long as you have an intention for something and you're praying to the universe. Now, when you guys are mentioning Jesus Christ, which I do believe in, belief, right? It's... um. Uh, a great way to focus and get into the program, like you mentioned, because so many millions or billions of people on the planet put their attention towards that, towards that creation, right? So let's say, because I've heard it explained a number of ways, the universe created the logos, which was Jesus Christ for this part of the solar system for the humanity that needed the help. And then and Christ comes down. So however you want to look at how Christ got here or whatever, I, I think it's more important that you focus on the love and you focus on the prayer to get into the programming. Well, one of the things I, I've practiced a lot of different meditations and, and prayers and things like this. And one of the practices that worked the best for me especially when I used to live in New York and I was very depressed because of the environment I was living in. Um, I began focusing on the vibration of love. And then I began trying to hold that feeling for as long as I could during the day. So, and, and the love, it's not, it's, it's uh, like Alosha was joking. It's not, that type of love. It's the love you can feel from being in a beautiful place on this planet. You could be by a waterfall or an ocean and have a feeling come over you, an overwhelming feeling of love. It's, it's a feeling, or it could be a birth of a child, or it could be your spouse, you know, that you feel love for. But it's not important what causes the love, just that you remember the feeling of the love. Not how you got there, not that it was the ocean or your child or your or your wife, but you remember that feeling and vibration, and then you just try and hold on to that for as long as you can. And just doing that, things automatically like fall into place. Like without even thinking consciously that you need some money, but you know, because all you do in, in most of these practices. You just put the put it out there and then you go on with your day, with your day. But when you're practicing this holding the vibration of love, being conscious and aware to 
keep it, you know, even if you get distracted while driving and someone cuts in front of you, you, you go back to the feeling because you have to be conscious that you're holding on to love and it's actual physical feeling you will feel. Some people would call it your chi energy, but when you're focused on the love, it's an actual energy that you can feel like you could physically feel this energy. And so that's, that's one practice that worked for me really, really well. And, and it's something I wanted to share with the group. Um, yeah. So the programming of Christ. And, Harry, and, what are you feeling? Holding on. What are you feeling right now after this prayer? Like going, going well, to your heart. What are you feeling? For, for me, it feels like uh, it's, it's a vortex. It's, uh, I feel a spinning force in my chest. But right you know, now, are you feeling shocked. that? Did, did this yeah, prayer... well, during the meditation, when I closed my eyes and, and you know, was into the meditation, into the prayer, I was feeling that, yes, in my, in my chest, a lightness. Lightness. Nice. Thank you for sharing. Yeah, Anyone so else? Anyone else wants to share how they feel after this pr uh, prayer? <clears throat> Marine, Sean, Shola, Valara, Victor, Mary, Cynthia, anyone want to share? Brady, Amy. just want to share love and hugs and um, happiness to be here and sharing your energies and knowledge and many blessings to everyone. Thank you, Maureen. But, but how did you feel during the prayer? Did you feel any different at all? And if you felt different, how did you feel? I felt my, I'm still vibrating. Quickly, I feel uh, quickened. That's the word that keeps flashing in my head. It's um, my energy started spinning, and I I felt pulled in, and yeah, the words just felt like a melody just running around me. It's a wonderful feeling to join in a prayer, isn't it? Yeah, g glad. Such a nice uh, thank you for sharing. Thank you. No, and, thank you. And you guys, you. Uh, Maxime, am I correct in saying that they have this dialogue forever now? If they want, if they want, it yeah. depends. It, it depends on them. Practice, believe, you can, you can use it. Yes, ever since. Ever since when you use the name of Jesus Christ, you can connect with this living God. And um, let me tell you one more thing that it's not another spiritual experience. It's not like, well, I had meditation, I had this, I had that. Um, this is not that. It's this is the way to your inner self it's not another experience because spiritual experience they not get you closer to god it's just another concept which makes you feel something and usually it's the opposite it um, guides you away so this is different, and if you uh, will accept um, the today experience, it's not just another one technique, but this is the way to your true self if you want that. It's not another concept or another way, just you can do that right now. And another thing that the conscious of Christ, it's very practical thing, which is important for 
Western people. It's good for all types of personality. There are two basic. The one who just want to feel love, the way of love, but most of all want to um, develop, choose the path of knowledge. They need to realize first and then they can accept it. So the conscious of Christ, uh, it has answers to all the questions, all the solutions that you need, like your smartphone, for example. You just need to push the button. For example, if you have a fear, you can, you can go to psychotherapist and still you, you have no guarantee. And it can be, uh, it can be risky for your consciousness because you open your programming for somebody, yes? But when you have Christ, you just, what do you do? For example, I have a fear of losing money, for example. Of, uh, you just ask Jesus Christ, what should I realize about this fear? Then you ask, guide me through the consciousness to the seed, reason of this fear. Take my hand and go through. And this operational system, it works perfectly. It works clean. Um, it lets you work with your hidden files, because otherwise, your psyche wouldn't open you this level because you don't know yourself what to do with it. But if you ask this operational system, Jesus Christ, show me the reason of this fear. Okay, and you see. Okay, then you ask, what should I realize about this? Ta 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 ta. -ta. You have answer. Okay, please heal it and choose me the other way to be. Bam, it means half a minute. And you make the work which will, which possibly take you two months of a psychotherapist. We have lots of experts learning with us, and they get amazed. Uh, the psychologists that how easy it is. It's safe. There is no risk, and it's uh, laser sharp. It guides you exactly to the place you ask. Uh, so, uh, I, I want to <laughs> inspire you to learn the uh, possibilities of it. Uh, and uh, it's a very practical thing. Uh, and you can automate lots of uh, processes of your mind. Because um, to feel love and to feel good and, and to feel tuned in, it's just the starting point. Because to change our life, we need to learn how our consciousness works. You cannot skip it. We need to hear, to know the desires of our souls. Everything is our life. It, it, this is our desires. If we don't want to know them, our life doesn't change. We can only compensate it. And also, uh, we need to know the source of power. So this operational system, Jesus Christ, the conscience of Christ, it helps to automate it in the simplest way. And it gives an opportunity even to beginner start uh, uplifting. <laughs> That's it. Uh, I know this is very um, in, introductory uh, meeting. Uh, on our courses, we spend a lot of time teaching about that. Now it's different period. We don't concentrate on this, but I think you can find information. Maybe Alosha will make it somehow. But um, the idea my message for you uh, just to look at the conscious of christ differently that it's much bigger it's practical it's powerful and it's 
Christ is the living God. It's not just another experience or person or energy. It's much, much, much more. And that's why he's great. Because this is very practical thing. And it gives results. Uh, thank you, Maxim. Thank you so much. It was really great to have you explain to us so point by point. I think it was enough, guys. And uh, if anybody wants to say anything before we exit, uh, let's give a round of final. A anybody wants to switch on your camera, switch on your microphone. Um, if you want to make a donation to myself and Maxim, uh, you can just email me. Email me or message me in Telegram and I'll send you the details. Uh, it helps us. We're open to it, but yeah, wherever. Um, if anybody wants to say anything, switch on. Okay, thank you for your guidance, Maxim and Alosha, for bringing us together for these experiences. Just amazing. Sure. Thank you. It was beautiful. Thank you, Mary says. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Thanks, Maureen. It, it wasn't easy doing in English, but uh, I try. think we handle it. Yeah. I couldn't even tell. <laughs> nice. Okay, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay. Much love. Thank you so much. Okay. Beautiful Russian. Beautiful. Awesome, Shola. I'm glad. You have this dialogue. Just believe that you have it and practice. Practice makes perfect. You have it already forever with you. I'm going to send you the notes. <laughs> it's very beautiful. Beautiful system. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Bye, guys. Thanks, Maxim. Thank you. I love us. I love us. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Bye, guys. Yes. Bye-bye.